your movement is just very awkward. Can I even run in this? Yeah, the jumping is very stiff. We're basically just attacking boys now with our sword. Oh boy. Also, oh man. Yeah, the controls are very weird. I have to hold A to swim, but I have to use the D-pad to actually move around. Oh yeah, and we get the power to fly too. That speedrunners use is like really break this game. <laughs> go, Peter, go. Oh no. And now we can fly. Exactly. And it's a 90, so everyone had to have a skateboard. Magic Cherry. There we go. At least it makes sense we eat food and gets us back our health. Wait, is there a boss? Uh oh. Oh my god, it feels like I'm on ice skates here. Was this Dark Souls? Oh. <laughs> Wait, where's our checkpoint? Oh, that's good. We only have two lives. Okay, so we probably have to get him to attack. So let him attack, and then we... Is he dead? Or, I'm sorry, we don't kill anyone in this game. <laughs> this game? And you don't need to know the story, right? Oh god, that's a lot of levels. Now we have his magic sword. Oh my god, it's running. Uh oh. Not the bees again. Oh my god, this movement is so awkward. You just really lose all your momentum in this. But the idea is we never want to lose our magic sword. Which is a, pretty much a valid strategy in any game. And we just lost it. Damn. I'll take that. I don't know what treasure is used for. Consider there's like no money on this island. Extra life. Oh no, am I gonna die here? Oh my god, that bad. Knew exactly where to go. Oh nice. Oh my god, this jumping. <laughs> and this is why I say you can't judge a game just by watching footage of it. Because this jumping would never know it would be weird if you were just watching. Oh, we 
haven't died on this level yet. Uh oh, boss time. What the hell is that? Can I attack these acorns? Oof. Take that, buddy. Where are you? Yeah, I'm afraid to fall off that edge, so I think I would fall right on him. Okay, that's two. Alright, we got through the level without dying. I think. This is when we die leaving the level. Of course I do. <laughs> Rob Williams spends the first 20 minutes beating up kids and then he goes fights pirates. What are they all just waiting around there for? Where's my, uh, magic sword here? What the hell? What, they're trying to fake Tinkerbell? Exactly. Why are we getting all these extra lives? I think we can get a health upgrade, but I don't remember. I like to say about every game. Every game should give you health upgrades, right? Oh, there's our magic sword. Damn you, Rufio. Whoa. Where did enemies respawn? I think so. There we go. Pretty much as long as you can keep the sword, it gets a lot easier of a game. Lose it and then you're in a bit of trouble like I am. I don't remember his sword shooting out death beams though. Or energy blasts. Maybe this was in that other Peter Pan movie, right? Is that thing up there? No, just sentient plants. I can fly! Oh, I missed that one up. Hey. Uh-oh. I may have screwed up there. Oh. oh, so the sword counts as a health upgrade. Hope this works. Oh. They know just exactly how much to give you, don't they? Damn you, developers. Play this conservatively, then. That was close. I'll take that. You never know when extra life's gonna be useful, right? No boss? It's always weird to me when some games just don't give you any boss fights. Hmm. That's a very long path around the island, though. Oh no. What is this thing gonna do? What the hell? 
Why is the tiger turning me to stone? Okay, so when I attack in the air... I get super speed. Oh god, I may have just screwed myself here. Oh god, this is... Oh my goodness, this is just like that level in Super Mario World. Oh my goodness. This is going to end badly for me, folks. Oh. And this is where we lose all of our lives, right here. Tinkerbell is not helping me. Exactly. There be some magic pixie dust here. And that's not a euphemism either. Oh no. Please be that let that be a checkpoint, please. Oh, thank you. Two hits there, that's not right. Oh no, not this. What the hell? Okay then. Apparently, the mermaids are trying to help me. I need some magic cherries, game. Come on. Okay, there's one. Oh no. Is this gonna still be auto scrolling? What the hell? I don't remember this part. At what point does uh, Peter get the Mega Buster? Oh, this is gonna be a pain, isn't it? On the plus side, it looks like every boss only needs three hits. And now we're under the kids who do absolutely nothing to help us. Where's Rufio when you need him? Wow, we made some really good distance there. This map does not seem accurate, does it? Oh. Oh no. What in the... When did this part happen in the movie? When did it turn to Tremors? <laughs> Music's pretty nice. A little, little hokey. Ow! Hey, let me see that guy. A lot more swimming in this game than I remember in the movie. 
By the way, I think this is the furthest I've ever gotten in this game, too. Well, I got my magic sword, but I think I'm about to lose it. Come on. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Because of the banner. Damn. Come on, something dropped me food. If this was Metal Gear, I could eat those snakes. This is going. I guess whenever you win a level, you gotta stick your sword up in the air like that. That was very anticlimactic, now wasn't it? Hmm, let me just actually beat this game on stream. For some reason, the map music is growing on me. Alright, so one, two, three, and I guess that's it. Oh no. Every game needs to have an ice level, right? Can I break those shields? No, I can't. And right next to the one up. Is there health upgrades in this game? On my way. Oh, partial blind jump. Asterisk, eh? Thank you, Magic Cherry. Get up there! As a fun fact, there's another game where you play as Robin Williams, Toys. No, oh, no, not this damn tiger. Oh, the tire doesn't hurt me. That's good. I guess the tire's the one thing that doesn't try and kill me. Or directly, I should say, doesn't try and kill me. Oh, no. I have a feeling this level is just about over. Oh, Peter. Can't you wall jump? Oh, the snowballs have <laughs> disappear out of existence when they go off screen. All right, bet now, folks, boss or no boss at the end of this level. Yeah, I can feel it. Uh-oh. I think that looks like a boss to me. Uh, how are we doing this? I should say, I know what we're doing. Okay, that's actually good range. Oh. Alright, so let it come over here. I want to take a death here, I think. Hmm. The problem is that sometimes he can turn, other times he can't. Oh, that sucks. 
You know, if I had the magic sword right here, this would be an easy fight. Okay, so... Slice one, jump. There we go. Wait a minute, those balloons still existed. <laughs> the music kind of reminds me of, like, the victory from the end of Super Star Wars. They look so happy. Uh oh. We're going from right to left instead of left to right. What kind of madness is this? Ooh. I did not think I was going to make that. Uh oh. Yeah, why are we going the other way? Uh oh. Oh. Those guys are annoying. Oh. The momentum. There's a momentum to the flying. Just like with his jumping, so it's very hard to quickly change directions. But basically, I need to avoid all those damn gunners. Hello? Should grab a screenshot of this for the book, maybe. Okay, so hitting that kills him immediately. Okay. Oh, that was close. Uh, this is a very annoying level, isn't it? Magic sword. Alright. Now all is good, I hope. And they do nothing. I didn't even get a celebratory uh, hand wave there. It's the Robin Williams Peter Pan. Where's Dustin Hoffman? <laughs> Are we really only two levels away from beating this game? That probably wasn't smart. Oh, great. Sentient fire that tries to kill me. Really? This game is f both very generous with lives, and also very stingy considering how many death pits there are. See? Magic sword beats all. Uh, I'm wasting magic juice though. Curse you. No, no 
magic sword now. Are we at the boss? I feel like I'm heading for a trap. Spider? Uh oh. Now it's like Pirates of the Caribbean. Hope Johnny Depp doesn't have to show up here. Oh no. Run, Robin, run. It's not gonna spit fire at me, is it? Cherries. Why cherries? What the hell? <laughs> Every anyone else see that killer frog coming at me? He looks so confident standing there, doesn't he? So I bet this is a fun level to speed run if you know exactly what you're going. What the hell? That is a mean frog. Oh. And I lost my magic power too. Alright, so this is where barrels come. We had to have been, like, right at the end of that level, though. Did I make it? Die, frog. That's revenge for earlier. Gotta be either at the end of this level or just like really, really close. Okay, got a magic cherry. And that guy just rolls down to his death. Oh, no, wait. Are we done? I'm gonna say boss. Uh oh. Are we hurting him? It can't be the body, right? Or it can't be the head. Alright, so three smacks on the body is gonna kill him. Do I need to jump around him, though? Yeah. Hmm. I can't get away from his perk box, though. That's the only problem. Wow. Okay. So this should be kill. You're not supposed to have more health. You are breaking the rules here, buddy. There we go. 
we all remember that part from Hulk, right? So this should be the final level, or really close. Oh, music just got very excitable. Don't hit those bees. Where's my magic sword when I need it? Your pants killing a lot more people in this one than I remember. Hmm. Ah. Well, you. Captain Boomerang up there isn't gonna stop me. What the hell? Sometimes I, like, stop in the air when I throw my attack. Other times I don't. <laughs> How am I gonna make that? This is gonna end badly for me. Well, the magic sword is nice and all. But I don't think it was worth the extra time. I should actually grab this more the magic power, though. Either I'm going to need it, or it's going to let me do some skipping. Jeez. Well, we got eight lives, so the chance of me dying is low, but... Or failing, I should say. But you never know, right? Oh, no. Aha! I knew there were health upgrades! Why is a leaf my health? Make it. I'm pretty sure knives don't work like that. Oh. My sword. Uh-oh. What the hell? Yeah, I'm dead. We're playing a game of Joust. We all remember this from the movie, right? At what point do we fight a champion Gundir? I don't think we're done yet, though. There must have been one other health upgrade somewhere in this game. I would only imagine it was in that long uh, waterfall, this area right here. Right at the boat here. Uh oh. I think we're on the final level already. I just hope there's no boss rushes. You never know in games like this, right? Like, 
Like, this is weird. Like, if I'm still moving in a direction, I can't back out of it for my sword. But the second I lose the momentum, I can then attack. Again, the controls have this purposely, like, floaty physics to them. Like, once you start moving, you can't stop. How that hit me? Uh-oh. Not you again. Out of my way. Now the level, with only having like 7 to 8 minutes per level, they're also not that long. Uh oh. I'm gonna need a Tinkerbell power, don't I? Oh, uh oh. You don't preserve your magic power between levels, so I couldn't just hoard it for this section. Right. You know I'm curious about what's over there. What could it be? Oh, it's probably just a shortcut there. Oh, I thought I hit that. Oh boy. I don't like where this is going, folks. Uh, don't die, Peter. Don't die. Ooh, that was close. He's gonna come back. This is a very big ship. <laughs> I'll remember this from the movie. Uh -oh. Barrel. Or apparently fighting Donkey Kong. Can I smack him from down here? Thank you, uh, weird hitboxes. How are we doing this? Hmm. Alright. Oh, the Lost Boys are actually doing something useful. Can you believe it, folks? He waited until the very end to do that. Alright. Time to fight Dustin Hoffman. Am I gonna hurt him? Okay. I got it. We just have to wait for the wind-up attack. Charge! You couldn't go, like, one more lane and kill Hulk for us, right? I can actually, like, slide in. Three. What the hell? Oh, yeah, apparently we're still not done yet.
Did we win? I guess we won. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think you should be talking. <laughs> well, we got some child murder here. Oh, this is it. He just pulled a scorpion on us. Now he's by on a commando. Alright, no more hook for you, buddy. Alright, still have to wait for him to do his little swing. If I if I pick the timing up, I can kind of attack him. I know exactly when he's going to attack here. Is that it? I think we won. Yep, I think that's game. Not bad. How long did it take me to beat that, anyway? Oh no. <laughs> you could just dodge out of the way there. Asterix on the SNES? <laughs> Not bad. Again, a little bit floaty, but once you get used to it, the game moves at a pretty good clip. I can add another platform to the list that I've beaten, then. All these scenes in the movie we remember, right? <laughs> Alright, not bad. I'll get that cut off for a play. I think this was the hardest fight right here, this guy. Just due to how weird it was to get around him. This is when we fought Joust. I truly really skipped one of the bosses, didn't they? The one... The guy in the woods. Oh no, am I gonna get copyright claimed by John Williams for this? Sony's coming for me. That's it? Oh wait, we got a special thanks. Alright, let's move on then.